Shipgear is middleware that connects the major carriers such as UPS WorldChip, FedEx, and Post Office to accounting and ERP systems. Today we're going to be looking at QuickBooks Online, but Shipgear also works with other flavors of QuickBooks like QuickBooks Enterprise, Pro, and Premier. So I have Shipgear running. It's basically just running in my tray down here, and I also have WorldChip running. In order to access um, my QuickBooks data, I'm going to go into Keyed Import, and I'm going to click on my SG Import map mapping. Um, this is going to be installed automatically once you install Shipgear, so you don't have to define anything. If I hit a question mark here, Shipgear is going to go out to my QBO data and pull up all of my orders or invoices that are available for me to ship. Um, Shipgear does support invoices in sales receipts as well as the customer list for QuickBooks. From here I could filter if I wanted to or I could just view all of my open invoices. I'm going to pick my first one here and Shipgear is going to go out to the QuickBooks data and pull in and translate the fields for that invoice. So um, the ship to information is going to auto populate. My UPS service will populate based on the ship via. I have some reference fields that are being automatically populated based with the um, invoice number and the PO number. And I'm also translating my billing type to receiver. I'm connecting my ship via to the billing type in this case. So from here, we'll just process a couple of packages like we normally do in WorldShip. If I process the shipment here, WorldShip is going to print the barcoded shipping labels, and Shipgear is going to update the QuickBooks data on that invoice. So let's go back into QuickBooks and take a look at that. And you'll notice here the ship via has been updated with uh, the carrier and service tracking number has been updated. My freight charge, if you recall back on the shipment, I had this billing type as bill recipient. But um, here I have a handling fee still being added. I'm using the ship gear freight rules to do that where it can automate the calculation of the shipping charge that gets updated on the document. And then on my memo, I have the ship, more shipment detail. This can also be added to the message if you'd like to um, put it there instead. Hope this was helpful. If you have additional questions, feel free to visit us at shipgear.com um, or call us at 800-462-4016. Thanks.